Farmer here. Welcome back to another episode of The Hulk. Today, I'm pretty excited. We're going to be installing the Pax Bellum ARID C36 onto the Hulk. This here is going to be my main uh, nutrient export for the Hulk. What it's going to do is we are going to add macroalgae in here, and the macroalgae is going to suck all the leftover waste nutrients that are in the tank that could cause algae issues, algae blooms, and just naturally filter that just by using macroalgae. So this whole tube here. I mean, there's a bunch of layers and we're going to put macroalgae on each layer. There's a lighting tube that goes down the center and now we're going to run it the opposite of my tank and what it's going to do that algae, we hit it with the light, it's naturally going to suck all the nutrients that we don't want in our tank. So with this tank, if I can get keep my nutrients very, very low, I can feed my tank a lot more often and my fish and my corals and everybody's going to be really happy. And at the same time, we're going to be doing this naturally, natural way. We don't have to add chemicals or any kind of different stuff to our tank. It's going to make it so much better. And with this system too, we're testing on this large system because I got my reef bot here. All the information that the reef bot takes from the from the Hulk does this testing daily. It's going to go back to Pax Bellum so they can fine tune all their products and they can let me know if there's any areas that I need to hit. So that's pretty awesome. Thanks Tristan for uh, hooking me up. We're going to do that together. It's going to be great. So today, I'm pretty much, this is where I want to mount it. I want to have it here right on my stand. It looks great. I'm gonna have just uh, some union fittings if I want to take it off and clean it all out because you're gonna probably, depends on your system, you know, every week, every two weeks, you're gonna end up cleaning out this system. You're gonna to have to take out some of the macro algae because it's gonna start over, you know, overgrowing in there and that you don't need that much going on, right? So there's gonna be so much growth that you can give it to your friends so they can have it, put it all in their systems. What I like about this system, it's a real natural way and we're not adding more chemicals other gear to this tank. So I'm pretty excited to get this puppy online. So like I said, we're gonna do the plumbing today. Um, I got my cycle going on. I'm not gonna turn it on yet until we need to, after the cycle is complete, because we're gonna start, our, our, uh, we're gonna start uh, adding all our corals and fish. So I just wanna get it all plumbed into the system, get water running through it. And then I'm gonna start adding uh, the Cheeto to it. I got algae barn. They're awesome. They're sending in their Cheeto package and we're going to end up filling this uh, Pax Bellin up with their Cheeto because with the uh, Algae Barn, they have some really, really nice products, guys. And with their, their Cheeto as well, you're going to get it. It's going to be pest free because sometimes when you're trading with your friends, you don't know what's in their refugiums or anything. You might get something bad end up putting in your tank. So I put my trust in uh, Algae Barn that's going to fill up uh, my reactor for me. It's going to be awesome. So let's dive right in. Let's get this baby all plumbed and then we can turn it on to the system. Because as soon as I turn it on, this is gonna fill full of water. So I'm gonna to have to make some new RO water and mix some salt to uh, fill up the system as well. So that's part of the process, guys. And I wanna make this very foolproof. So it is on a stand and it is gonna weigh some weight to it. But the quickest way is I'm gonna put some union on it. I'm gonna be able to shut it off, direct the flow from over on this side of the room. And I'm probably gonna add an extra tube. So what I can do is when I go to clean this, I can drain this system and the water that I drain out, I can put back in the system. This way I can definitely just take this apart, bring it outside, put it on the ground, and I can actually work on it much easier than keeping it in my fish room to do the maintenance on it. So let's dive in. We're gonna get that started. I got my trusty bandsaw for cutting all the pipe. Um, I got all the fittings from uh, Reef PVC, the usual, and we're gonna get at it. So we're gonna do a little process of each part, and we're gonna go from there, guys. So I'm going to show you what we're going to get started for. So we got the Pax Bellum here and it comes with its own power supply. So we're going to have to get it into wire management and I'm going to hook it into my Apex, probably number one. And we'll label that uh, Pax Bellum program, this uh, outlet right here. So it turns on and off the opposite of my tank. So I end up taking a couple things off their quick connects that are here. I'm going to add my own plumbing. I'm going to add some uh, union so I can disconnect it a lot quicker. We're gonna have to drill the cabinetry down here. A couple holes, so it's gonna look really nice. So we're gonna have our purple coming in down. It's gonna go down underneath and then back up. I have this uh, gate valve here, so I can adjust the flow. I already marked the center here. I measured off the wall, center to center, to my valve and off the sump. Drill that hole, do all the plumbing underneath the stand, back up, and that's it. 
So that's what we're gonna do today. I got the bandsaw, I got some glue, I got some primer, and I got some dope for the threads because I'm not using the nylon stuff. And there's the reef bot, we got that all set up. You guys saw in the other video, it's doing its thing because we're doing the cycle. Everything's going pretty good. We got the sump here, or about the sump, the skimmer. He's skimming away now. I end up, because uh, we did the cycle, it's been 48 hours, I turned it on and I freshly cleaned out all my filter socks. All the other ones are in the wash, being all clean. I got my ATK from Neptune and it's all hooked up, working. I got my probes. That's the line for doing all the tests for the robot. All right, let me stay on track here. So let's go ahead, let's start getting this all plumbed up and hopefully everything turns out perfectly. Okay, so we got this gate valve and we need to connect it to the other side. So let's get started here. I got my, uh, got my hole saw. Nice sharp one. There we go, we got our first hole. Clean that up. I oversized a little bit because with the pipes there could be a little bit of vibration and I can always silicone around them after so we don't have any sound, so that's nice and clean. So that one's good. So what I need to do, make sure this is set in perfect, measure up my wall, and figure out how I'm going to have these uh, oriented, which way we're gonna have it. Because with this system, the water flows down through the bottom, up through the packs, fell and back out. We're going back down, back around. And when we do come around, it's gonna feed my refugium. My refugium is gonna back feed through here, because we're gonna keep all the little critters back in there breeding like crazy, so they keep feeding the tank. So I'm gonna just set you guys down for a minute. I'm gonna do some measurements. I wanna make sure this is spot on because it's got a law look like really nice. So I got my union fitting here. So I'm gonna measure down. We're gonna drill this out and then we're gonna cut across to the sump. So that's the next plan.
Okay, so the magic of editing, the plumbing is all done. The water is flowing through the Pax Bellum. I have the first outlet here on the energy bar programmed. So I'm gonna be running this Pax Bellum four hours different opposite of the tank. And I have I programmed it in here, where is it? Pax Bellum right here. So I just have that program to run four hours differently compared to my display tank. So that's right in there. It looks pretty cool. If we go here, this is where it lights up in here and that's where all your macro algae is gonna be. And what I do is I have that here, it goes back down underneath, comes back here, and this is what feeds my refugium right in this area. And I'm gonna be start adding some uh, miracle mud that's gonna go in here, a little bit of live rock and a whole bunch of Cheeto just so all my pods and everything can uh, multiply and keep feeding my tank. But that's that's coming right from the Pax Bellum right here. It's refeeding. And it feeds across and then it flows back over back into the return and back to the main display tank. So that's how I have it all set up. So it turned out pretty good. You guys check her out. And I'll show you when I shut the lights off. That's how it glows. It looks pretty sweet. Like I said, I got an algae barn. They're shipping down their uh, extra large uh, refugium pack for this display tank, plus five extra jars of all their pods so we can really seed the Hulk down. So I'm looking pretty forward to it, but I just want to take you for a tour and show you how well that all turned out. Um, what else I can show you here down underneath my display tank. So this is, that's the, the wastewater that comes from the reef bot. And then I put a valve on the incoming here so this here, so when I empty this, it's gonna have to do back suction and I'll close the valve off at the tank, but the, the suction will go, I'll fill up a pail here and then I can take this out of the system without spilling water all over the place. Just like that. So that's what's going on here. This is the RO water and this is uh, the waste water that comes from the reef robot. So that's uh, what I got going on today, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Turned out pretty good. There we go. I just want to show you a little bit of plumbing, how we got this Pax Vellum all plumbed in. It turned out really nice. The purple looks great. Got a couple extra gate valves for flow control, plus emptying this for maintenance, because that's what it's about. We want to keep things nice and clean, easy to maintenance, because if it's easier to do it more often, that we're going to stay on top of all our maintenance from this tank. So thanks for tuning this week, guys. That's the Pax Vellum ARIDC36. So if you guys want to pick one up, check them out. They're on Instagram. They have a, a public uh, group on Facebook. They help you out, all kinds of stuff. They're a really great team and great service. And um, you'll definitely benefit from having one of these on your tank. So we'll have a bunch of reviews coming up as we track the progress of getting the macroalgae in there. And when the tank you know, starts to get its bio load going on, we're gonna turn this puppy on and we're gonna go from there. Doesn't that look sexy how nice to just go on like that? It's freaking awesome. So if you guys could hit that little bell in the corner, it'd be greatly appreciated. If we could hit around five, 600 likes, we just keep this channel rolling, keep more content coming. We got a lot of different things coming up here and the fish selection is gonna be sweet. So please subscribe and hit that like button.